Hello friends, uh, welcome to my channel again. In this tutorial we will see uh, how to prepare a layout map using QGIS software. After you have done some um, uh, processes or analysis in QGIS, you need to prepare your final map using layout map. So in this tutorial we will see how to prepare the final layout map uh, so just here i have just created uh, this map or i have uh, classified my image and land is land cover of my area which is 2021 and i wanted to prepare a layout map for this uh, classified image so once you have finished your uh, analysis uh, you can just go to this uh, tab project from this here we have a new print layout and you can give the name of the layout or you can just leave it then here uh, the layout map will be uh, opened here so this is the, player, the place where we put uh, our map uh, which is uh, on the canvas so uh, Uh, from this we can just uh, change the size or the shape or the orientation of our uh, paper so here i'm going with a4 paper size or you can just select uh, the appropriate paper size for you again uh, for the orientation one we have the landscape and the portrait i'm going with the landscape you can modify these uh, parameters just select the white part and then go to this item property and change uh, these parameters so once we have done this uh, come here add item and from this select add map and it ask you uh, to draw the place where you put uh, your map or your final layout map so I'm just uh, selecting a few cities. There is a ruler here. It is measuring the width and the heads of <coughs> your layout. So I'm just keep this part for uh, writing the title of the map. And I'm um, just uh, go with this one like this. Yeah. So automatically after drawing the rectangle your map from the canvas will appear within this uh, box so you have just added your map from the canvas the next will be uh, adding those uh, dog styles or uh, map elements which is abbreviated as dog styles so if you wanted to uh, uh, zoom in and out this map you can just select this layer and uh, come to this one uh, interactive edit map extent if you select this one you can just zoom in and out <coughs> the map only uh, and uh, we can just change the background of uh, this or we can add frame change the color of this frame and just a background just select this one uh, so uh, next uh, we need to add the map elements which are for example legend again come to this add item and add legend again uh, specify the location and i'm just putting it uh, around this yeah then uh, the legend will automatically create it okay so select this uh, legend box and again come here and uh, modify some um, 
attributes for example we can give a frame uh, change the color of the frame and also we can change the font or text the style mm, for the legend title for group uh, headings you can change the color and i'm going to change the subgroup heading and take 16 bold okay again for the item font uh, 14 will be enough in the bold yeah this is the legend you can modify then next again add the for example label or the title of the map select uh, a rectangle and uh, give the name or the title of your map i am going to rename it uh, 2021 land cover map uh, map of your area something we have to give appropriate title for your map this is mandatory as you know in cartography courses uh, your legend your legend has to be a uh, descriptive so uh, your titles also has to be uh, descriptive so i just uh, leave it um, renaming like this uh, to change the font again select this and the bold take 28 i'm okay with this We can give a border again for this. Uh, we can also give a background color. Yeah. Okay, for the text, you can select center or to just to write the text in the center of the box. Select the center. Yeah. This is enough again we need to add scale so go to again item <coughs> add item from this we have uh, add scale bar and i'm going to put it around here yeah this is it so if you wanted to change this this number of segments you can just add to the left or to the right of the zero value so i'm going to add to the right if you add one segment you will have this kind of uh, a scale bar again add no zero i'm going to put it here yeah again add what is left uh, text you can just use you can add the current date again add dynamic text to add the ellipse widths you can just increase the size of the number the text again add projection system and again unit similar thing we do in ArcGIS font tail yeah here also we can add some um, uh, pictures for example add item and select add picture and uh, specify the location you wanna put it I'm gonna put it here 
and from this uh, if you want to add logos for example QGIS logo you can just select this and put the QGIS logo you can give it within a frame again if you have your own logo or your own mark you can just use uh, add picture and select uh, add, add picture from this select raster image and I go to your directory I'm going to add this uh, logo image yeah, first you have you have to draw for this one I'm going to for this one go to this go to your directory select your image I'm going to here yeah like this give a border or frame yeah this so what's left you have to just select all the necessary uh, map elements and put on your map and finally you can export your map as a pdf i just added you can add uh, whatever you want from this drop down so uh, you can just uh, print your layouts or uh, you can just export it as a pdf uh, export as a pdf you can give the name layout 3 for example for me and you can select pdf <coughs> So this is the uh, export option. Go with the uh, default one. Let's save. This is just exported. Yeah, this is my final one. So uh, this is all about today's lesson. Thank you for your time and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, share with your friends again uh, thank you for your time see you in the next video uh, goodbye